Good morning, welcome to Johnson's Garden Time. Jeremy, it's early May, time to put about anything in the garden and uh, we're gonna talk today about improving the soil and then some of the things that we can plant. You know, starting with a, a good healthy soil is, is really the best way to ensure success when, when planting um, in, in the ground. Whether it's, you've got clay soil or sandy soil, I like to add our soil recipe and it starts with the, the cotton, uh, cotton bull compost. You know, the, the cotton bull compost is a great source of organic matter, not the only source of organic matter you can use, but it's a good convenient source. Um, but, but really any compost is, is going to be good. We like the, the cotton burr for, for Kansas lawns. It does have a, a little bit of an acidified component to it, a little bit of sulfur in there, helps with our, our high calcium soils. Great microbial activity as well. In our soil recipe, uh, per 100 square feet, we start with two bags of that, and then we go with the, the high yield or the, the natural guard humic. The, the humic is, uh, contains humates, which is basically the, the best part of the, the compost pile. So the, the thing in that compost that's helping to break down those, that organic matter, that, that's what's in this bag. Okay, we've got bone meal, which is a slow release, add some organics, and then also the Fertilome Gardener Special, which is a great fertilizer for anything flowering or fruiting. You know, this is gonna fit in an area of about 100 square feet, so, so really for, for most home gardens, it's a, the perfect size. Work that all in together, and then you're ready to plant. Okay. One thing I like, and I always have good luck in the garden, I think most people do, and that's peppers, whether it's sweet, small, hot, extra hot, whatever. Yeah, here, here we are early May and, and should be done with any cold temperatures. The, the peppers really don't like those cold soils early in the, in the season. So now's a perfect time to, to plant peppers in the, in the garden. Like you say, there, there's, we've got a, a wide range of, of different types and, and heat levels. Okay, so as far as, as get, getting them started, not only peppers, but tomatoes, anything that, that you plant in, uh, we've started with the the soil recipe. Start, start with the soil recipe. It does have kind of a, a good baseline nutrition. I like it at planting time when I'm doing tomatoes and peppers, uh, really our, our larger summer fruiting plants to, to use a, a high phosphorus, high middle number plant food during at, right at planting time, right at the, at the root zone of the plant, and then uh, top dress later on with it. Okay. As far as um, peppers, are there some that, that you like? Some uh, There's a lot of traditional ones, jalapeno, but there's a lot of new ones that we have that I think are very interesting. You know, and, and again, not, not gonna necessarily be the, the hottest of the peppers, but, but lots of different flavors. Make sure to plant when you're planting peppers in a, in a full sun area, the, the more sun we can give them, the happier they're gonna be, the better they're gonna produce. All right, come by and look at our selection of, of all types of vegetables, vine crops, peppers, tomato plants. We've got a great selection right now. Uh, come by and see us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.